hi, mind if I- Whoa! Oh, hey, 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 okay, okay, I'm, I'm just an adventurer. Just like you. Oh, well, um, you look like an adventurer. Not sure who else would camp out here. Merchants wouldn't. Travelers and hunters would, I guess, but, well, that sword is far too expensive for a hunter. And, well, you just don't look like a traveler. Well, uh, it was just a deduction. Up to you how you take it. Uh, can you uh, lower your sword now? Thanks. So, do you mind? Oh, well, I've got some dried meat, so you don't have to share. I'm just after the warmth. And these woods aren't the safest. Two safer than one, right? I can see that suspicious look in your eye, but I promise, I'm harmless. Maybe a bit more harmless than a bike. Ah, oh, thanks. So, um, what quest are you doing? You came from Hillvale, right? There wasn't much on that quest board to pick from. Lost Catton? That's more like what I was after. I'm a pretty good tracker, actually. Something, at least. Oh, my quest? Uh, Kobold. I, I think. Swarf? Uh, well... Uh, you're a good fighter, are you? Well, I, I don't need to ask that. I can tell just by looking at you. Mm. What about a partnership, then? I'll help you find the cat, and you help me hunt some copies. Split the rewards 50-50? You're sure you could take the five by yourself? Thirteen, wow. <laughs> You're the real deal, then. I guess five would be nothing for you, then. But still, I'd prefer to work together. I told that farmer I'd get it done for them, and it just doesn't feel right to hand off a promise to someone else. Even if I'm handing off the reward, too. So, what do you say? 50-50? 60-40? Oh, fine. I guess the kobolds are worth more, and I'm sure you'll do more than me at getting rid of them. Deal. Guess a party we are, then. Oh, yes, yes, just for these quests, then I'll leave you be, I know. Yes, I, I know you could do them both alone, I don't doubt it. But accepting help isn't such a bad thing, you know? It doesn't make you weak, it makes you friends oh no 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 I no I wasn't saying we yep yeah we, we just met after all but you know what I mean anyway I look forward to working with you my name is knife ears by the way uh, yeah it was a nickname the other kids at the orphanage gave me Oh, because I'm half-elf, see? They're not as pointy as an elf's, but... Still enough to stick out. I hope that's not an issue. Ah, great. Oh, my real name? Um, I don't know. I wasn't given one, I guess. It's okay, I don't mind knife ears. Really. I got used to it. I had to. Oh, we still age pretty much the same rate as you humans. I'm probably about the same age as you. We do live a bit longer, though. Well, I probably won't. But we can.
Anyway, enough about me. And your name is? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, sorry, sorry, not cute. It's strong, very strong. Well then, well met to you. And thanks again for sharing your camp. Oh, what, what's this? You sure I can have some? How kind. Thank you. Hmm. hmm. It's been a while since I've had rabbit. Delicious. Thanks. There's a bit of a chill in the air tonight. Hmm? Oh, uh, what I meant by saying I'm more harmless than I'd like. You caught that, did you? Oh, uh, well, you see, I, I always wanted to be an adventurer since I was a boy. I never took much care for city life, or rather, it didn't take much care for me. Too many people and too many old opinions. So an adventurer it is then, I thought. A life on the road, helping people, never staying in one place, never calling anywhere home. Any place that I don't like, I can pack up and leave the next day. No coming back. But anyway, it seems I never put much thought into the actual adventuring part of it. The hunting and camping and walking, more walking, and killing. It seems swords took to me as much as the cities did. Except I can't leave those behind in this work. Oh, sure, I took some classes and learned what I could. Spent all my adolescent savings on training and my first pack of gear. My mentor said I had potential, but I wasn't letting it out. Never really understood what he meant by that, but the way it's gone since, I'd say I still haven't let it out or... Whatever. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you the whole campsite backstory. Must be something about staring into the flames. Hmm? How long? Uh, well, this'll be my ninth quest? Second one that involves hunting monsters. And the first was barely a success. What about you? Whoa, that many? You must have started young then. Ah, no wonder you're so good at it. Well, I no, I haven't seen you in action, but I've seen enough proper adventurers to know one when I see one. Hmm? <laughs> you reckon I'm a proper adventurer too? Oh. So what happened to that cold steel act you had going? Uh, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Thank you, though. It's the first time someone's complimented me since... Uh, well, uh, anyway. Oh, thanks. I must say though, I never get sick of these clear night skies. Don't get to see so many stars in the cities. And even when you do, it's not like out here, with none of the carts and shouting and drunken screaming. Just the nocturnal creatures, 
cricket or two, wind in the leaves, crackling fire, they never charge. Ooh. Well, it's late enough for me, I think. I'll just unfurl my bedroll here, if that's all right, and call it a night. Are you going to stay for a bit longer? No, no problem. Sit yourself. I'll certainly sleep easier, that's for sure. No, no, I, I know you're not watching out for me. I, I'm just, I was just saying. Well, anyway. Oh, good night. Sleep well. We've got plenty of work to do tomorrow. <laughs>